It was a warm September day when we set off on our peculiar quest, to find the tiny mythical creature said to fill the finder's heart with joy. With our bag packed full of essentials, a hand-drawn map, a compass, and a half-eaten bag of tortilla chips, we embarked into the unknown. Our journey first led us along a charming brook, its water cascading in tiny, soothing falls. The soft gurgle was hypnotic, lulling us into a brief, contemplative moment. We stood still, listening to the rhythmic pulse of nature, before shaking ourselves from the trance and pressing onward. Soon, we began our climb through a mixed forest of maples, oaks, and birch trees. The path beneath our feet was sandy, illuminated by the dappled sunlight filtering through the canopy. The scent of leaves, crisp and earthy, filled the air as we marched on. With each step, we climbed higher, and the deciduous trees began to thin, giving way to a forest of red pines. As we gained altitude, the landscape unfolded below us in a stunning vista. The valley stretched wide, the trees painted in the warm hues of early autumn. But our eyes were set on the summit where a daunting stone cliff loomed in the distance. After what felt like hours of arduous climbing, we finally reached the base of the cliff. Its stone face rose sharply, imposing and majestic. There, just beyond the edge, something caught our eye. A soft rustling sound drifted toward us. We exchanged glances, hearts pounding with anticipation. And then, there it was, perched upon a rock in all its miniature glory, the mythical tiny taco. Exactly as the legends foretold, small, majestic, and inexplicably charming. The perfect taco, delicate yet vibrant, as if crafted by the hands of some benevolent, unseen force. Everything we had imagined and more. After securing photographic evidence for, of course, no one would believe us otherwise, we stood for a moment, basking in the joy it had stirred within us. The climb, the mystery, the hunger, it had all led to this surreal yet satisfying encounter. Our spirits lifted, we retraced our steps down the mountain, our hearts full, and naturally, our final destination was clear. The nearest Takaria where we could satisfy our now very real hunger.